think very carefully. If I trust God for a need to be met, if I am trusting God for a need to be met, God will use men. Every time there's a need in your life, God uses men. Whether money or things, God has to use men because there's no food in heaven. There are no cars in heaven. And there are no houses in heaven. So God will have to use men. And sometimes there will be a delay when the men are not yielding to God. Look at it. If God says, I want to use Mr. A to meet the need of Mr. C. And Mr. A refuses. God will have to persuade, persuade, persuade. It could take time. Mr. A refuses. God will have to look for Mr. B and talk to Mr. B. And eventually Mr. B yields. So your need is met when there was a willing person to allow God to use them to meet your need. That's why sometimes there's a delay in God meeting your needs because of the human factor involved in the meeting of needs. And God can't force people. God can't tell him, well, whether you like it or not, you know, that's not God. God will have to woo somebody, persuade the person, talk to the person, and get the person to give. So God is not going to, you know, go to somebody's account, take the money and put it in your account. God doesn't operate like that. He's not a criminal. God will ask men to give to you. God will use men to give to you. Opportunities, businesses, jobs, contracts, whatever it is. God will have to find somebody willing to be used. And if he doesn't find, he will have to wait until there is a willing person to be used please pay attention and sometimes there will be a delay when men are not yielding to god please are you listening there will be a delay when men are not yielding to god that's why jesus taught a lot to convince men to give to others because that's the way god does when it comes to healing for example healing is supernatural god deals with the sick and his power when it comes to material things there is always a third party who has what you need the car you need the house you need the money you need the job you need is in somebody's hand right now it's not going to come from him whatever you need material is on earth in the custody of someone there's always a third party who has what you need and god is going to convince him and persuade him to do it and he might say no and sometimes when you go about preaching the gospel god is moving in people to see who will say yes the truth is god will not just move someone against his will to do something for you God is not going to force me to do what I don't want to do. I have to be willing to do it. Then when God talks to me, because I'm already willing to do it, I'll do it. And Jesus demonstrated that. That's why Jesus taught a lot about giving. He kept talking about giving to the poor, giving to meet the needs of others. Why was he teaching? Because he knows that the human will is very, very complicated. Sometimes people may not be willing. And somebody around them is dying of a need that they have the supplies for like some of you right now you may have clothes you're no more using that could be a blessing to somebody in the church some clothes you have kept aside could be a blessing to somebody in the church some of you food 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 that is abandoned in your house somebody right here in the service may be in need of that food right now but because you didn't yield to god instead of giving it to somebody you trashed it same thing with clothes some of you, the clothes you've kept under your bed and they've been there for a long time could be somebody's answer to prayer. But because you never yielded. Because many times we come to the service, miracles are happening all over the place. Even as I'm speaking right now, God is moving people right now in the service. And sometimes, because I sense that in the spirit right now, God is tearing up people right now. I get bojakaya now. <laughs> Kegele ya mano shokolo dobrina kakarato sukelea. 
le grodo sakrana karotu sekile nemenga megia nagoro tusuka jekle debri nakoro tusakalia thank you father i'll do exactly that he says i meet the needs of my church using my church i use my people to meet the needs of my people and if my people will be willing to let themselves to be available i will do great and mighty things among you there will be no need because every need you have there is somebody right here saith god that has exactly what you're looking for right now but sometimes the people are not willing and they do not yield so people come with needs and go with needs when the supply for those needs was available if only the people were willing to be willing to be used by me to meet the needs of others you know oh yes thank you lord some of you the contracts you're looking for the jobs you're looking for some of you the connections you're looking for there are people right here that have them and some of you the people that has them are out there so now you talk to god god will have to move people and move people and if the people resist god there will be a delay if the people are willing then god will use them and sometimes as you keep praying that's why when you pray for needs you receive by faith and you keep praising god and you stay in patience and in faith because god will have to move people move circumstances until the people are willing to go against everything that is contrary to meet the need of that other person i don't know if you understand what i'm talking about yeah and right now god is meeting needs even right here in this service a sense and anointing of god moving all over the place those men will be the custodian of those things and a man will not just find out his money is coming no realize when it comes to healing god persuades the receiver but when it comes to material things there's a third party involvement did you get the difference when it comes to healing god engages the receiver directly but when it comes to material things there's a third party that god will have to move a company a government agency an organization a human being that god will have to walk through to get things to happen see that and that is why sometimes there are delays and of course sometimes people are just willing to be used by god all right but whichever way if you stay in patience eventually it will come god will always appeal to men to meet the needs of other men and sometimes like i said men will say no and god cannot force them let me give you an illustration luke chapter 2 verse 52 and jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with god and man the word favor there is the word caris used for kindness was this word favor with man absolute no was jesus always accepted by men no was it god that made jesus not to be favored by men no men choose not to favor him so whatever men do men can change men favored jesus after a time they went against him and i'm talking to some of you here who wonder why is it that i never have favor it's not because there's something wrong with you it's just the way men are it's just the way human beings are sometimes they could favor you and sometimes they could disfavor you it's not because there's anything particularly wrong you have done it's just the way the activities of men operate you know and that statement jesus found favor with god and man was not absolute because there were times he never found favor with people people went against him people asked for him to be crucified whatever men do men can change the prophet said he was rejected of men speaking of jesus so when solomon says when a man's ways please the lord he will make his enemies to be at peace with him it's not an absolute statement god will do what he will do and men can choose to like you or dislike you so do not feel uncomfortable when men suddenly change towards you it's not because you did something wrong it's just within man's purview and will to do what he has done men can choose to just be used by god to be a blessing and they can choose not to see that and all you've got to do is stay with god keep your heart on the lord trust him and stay in faith 
and just patiently be there declaring the word of the lord and then circumstances will continue to be arranged until there is a willing man to help you but if you quit and you give up and you start speaking contrary you abort the process that was set in motion for your need to be met i believe in miracles god wants to meet your needs supernaturally he wants to open up floodgates of favor and increase for you but men will have to be willing to let god's will concerning meeting your needs come to pass amen praise god i tell you so listen two things we've dealt with here number one god cannot force healing on you you must be willing to be healed god cannot force a miracle on you you must believe god for a miracle and receive a miracle by faith jesus couldn't force people he never did that's not god's character he allows you to be persuaded by his word and then you receive his word and in faith you take delivery of what god has provided when we pray over you that are sick you've got to receive your healing you are not begging for it god wants you healed jesus has done everything that is needed to be done to get you healed but you have to receive it he is not going to force you he's not going to put it on you by force you've got to be willing to receive it and here guys i sense that healing power is in this building right now miracles are already in this place i tell you bodies and yokes are being destroyed right now as i'm speaking and there are some of you things are shifting in your jobs things are shifting in your place of work miracles are happening things are shifting the power of god is suspending the course of nature and making the impossible take effect right now the power of god is suspending the course of nature and causing systems and organizations to begin to favor you listen very carefully the power of god is going into operation because when the word of faith is preached the word of faith goes forth with the power of god and there are creative miracles happening right now you know tumors are disappearing growths are melting out of your bodies right now thank you lord